Probably the most important thing is never forgetting that you're dealing with a potentially dangerous animal. Ooh. 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 There's kind of a saying working with animals, especially dangerous animals, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Ooh. Crusher is definitely the largest crocodilian that I work with. He's about 14 foot long, and he probably weighs about 1,000 pounds. Crusher is the biggest. Alligators and crocodiles, they have the strongest bite force of any animal in the animal kingdom. They can bite down between 2,500 pounds to 3,000 pounds per square inch of bite force. And all that, that power is in closing. So if you look behind his jaws, he's got kind of these big fatty pockets. That's actually their jaw muscles. My name is Andrew Biddle. I'm one of the co-curators at Wild Florida. I'm looking forward to doing the Crusher shows. Say hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Now get ready to say bye, Andrew. Yeah. There is some times where he's a little pushy or let's you know say he's being extra fired up. You know, he's full of energy. Uh, so he's, you know, he's coming over quick. He might lunge up at me really fast. And um, as long as I always kind of keep that respect for him, I'm always a little cautious, but I'm not really nervous. He is a little feisty, so we'll see how he acts today. He's super hot, so that's when they're the most active. You never know. There's kind of a saying working with animals, especially dangerous animals, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when uh, you get bit. So we always kind of try to keep that mindset. Um, the biggest problem you can have is being complicit or kind of losing that fear or respect. Now I'm going to say Andrew and to use that same exact vocal, that gator pop, with a combination of visual and vocal cues. He's probably 65 years old. Now look at this, my friends. And he was a nuisance trapped alligator. So he was brought to the park about six years ago. He was already pretty much 14 foot, almost 1,000 pounds. Up. So look at that. He's asking pressure to come up. up. He's then going to reward the behavior. Good boy. Alligators love chicken. They really eat about anything. Within you know a short period of time, we're able to train him into the alligator he is, and you know who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks. So. You guys want to speed things up? Let's speed things Ooh. up. Ooh. Ooh. Alligators are much more agile and uh, much quicker in the water. So now the Andrew's entered the space of this 14 foot alligator. You're about to see exactly how this is going to go for him. The water oh. makes the alligator look smaller, believe it or not. But once Andrew's able to pump up. water with that head up, you'll get a real uh. size reference. Look at that. All those teeth. There are 80 teeth in that alligator. You know? oh. And every time he enters the water with him, he has to remember all of those things. Oh. Like that. He's going to be biting the end of his own tail. Here. Hold. Good boy. Ooh. Crusher was really good for the show. He held all of his commands. He wasn't wasn't pushy, so he did really good. And in my spare time, I also take care of my personal collection of animals, which includes big snakes, crocodiles, a girl, and bobcats. The most unusual animal is probably our Mata Mata turtle. It's a really silly looking turtle from South America. So their head is kind of shaped like a leaf. And then he's got this really, this little snorkel nose. So they'll stick their little, their head up and get their nose out of the water. So it's supposed to look like a, like leaf litter at the bottom of a river is their camouflage. My green anaconda is pretty large. She's about 16 foot. and. Over 150 pounds, probably close to 175 pounds, so she's a big girl. Yeah. She's right around 10 years old. It's so muddy now. They can live 30 plus years, so she's still got a lot of growing, and she could potentially get twice this size. Our kids, even though they're still young, they're very passionate about animals, they love all animals. We always keep our, our family, our kids' safety uh, yeah. priority number one. She can lie. Yeah, she doesn't though. We try to pride ourselves on, you know, kind of being involved, being aware, teaching our kids, um, you know, what they should do, how they should react. 
You wanna go swimming? So with otters, they're really cute and a lot of people want to keep them as pets, but they do not make good pets. <laughs> they're, they, they require a lot of care. They eat a lot. You know, fish isn't very cheap. They eat a lot of fish. Um, you know, they need a big water source. So we have to have a big pool for him. Uh, they're kind of smelly. And then they also have a crazy strong bite. Our bobcat was actually born at my work. Just like fish in our shark. His name is Thanos. My children named him. The mother had complications, unfortunately, when she gave birth, so we had to pull him at a week old. So we raised him since he was one week old. Jacob likes to be really involved with the bobcat. Um, the bobcat sleeps in bed with him at night. If Alex is taking a bath, he loves getting in the tub with Alex. So they both kind of interact with him a lot. <laughs> So this is Nala, and she's our Florida Panther ambassador. So with any big cats, any predatory animals, I mean, they're potentially dangerous, even though we raised Nala from a cub. Andrew's really uh, one of the best animal trainers I've ever met. He really is a general respect for all the animals. I learn a lot from him every day. I never stop, and he's super, super awesome, fun guy, very positive, uh, super, super cool. So she's gonna stalk me right now. Now she's sneaking over. Come on. Oh, good girl. We try to be very involved in conservation. Welcome to our alligator feeding show. Is the title my giveaway? Spoiler alert, we're gonna be feeding some of our adult alligators in this pond. The kind of motto we like to use is conservation through education. So it's as simple as taking an alligator to a school and talking about, you know, alligator awareness. It's gonna be epic. You hear that alligator? It's all right now. <laughs> Growing up in Florida or living in Florida, what to do to be safe around alligators. Oh, looks like Jeremiah. Oh, Woo! Very good. Make some noise. The biggest just misconception is that reptiles are, you know, scary and they want to eat us and it's unfortunate and they're very interesting and fascinating animals so you know we always try to do everything we can to inform people. So a lot of people ask well how do alligators jump? A lot of people think well they use their feet their legs kind of like us. Well that's not true. Alligators use their tail to jump out of the water. Let's see if I can go in and, and uh, hand feed some of these alligators. Just hopefully not feed their hands to them. It would be really bad. So that's our main goal is to kind of to be able to spread our passion. Pour up, pour up, pour up. What we love about animals the most, and, and hopefully people oh. grow with that. Let's see if we can get a good jaw pop out of door. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> 